another weekend flying off to Sydney. Less than an hour into flight and now they have dinner service. I'm having roast beef with broccoli and mashed potatoes and watching Friends. It's gonna be about 13 hours. Hopefully this wine will help me sleep for 13 hours. Cheers. Right now it's about 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning and here I am waiting for my ride. I'm not sure who they are as usual. I just got to wait around and see who's going to come up to me or maybe look like I'm looking for somebody so they know I'm looking for them. But uh, yeah, this is this is life. Everybody thinks I'm like 6 feet tall and I'm coming down and I'm like 5 feet and they're like, we're looking for Unmin and I'm like, I'm her. <laughs> Big surprise. <laughs> Disappointment or surprise? <laughs> Fun size. Okay, so walking around, looking, looking. I don't see anybody. Hmm. Should I go outside? Maybe I should go outside. Would be really nice if they had one of these signs. How easy would that be? If they just get one of these signs. And I found my ride. <laughs> Early morning in Bankstown and everyone is already up and running. Wow. And once we meet again. <laughs> ah. This is Huang An. He's going to take good care of me. Is good for your soul. I just checked in my room. Here it is. Little mini room tour. Here's the bed and another mini bed. Now I'm gonna just go to sleep, get some rest. Um, I got some on the plane, but you know, the lady sitting next to me, she kept climbing over me and going to the restroom, so I was in and out, wasn't really getting a good rest, but now I'm gonna try to get some. I am super full. I ate a lot on the plane, and then I wasn't really hungry when I landed, but you know, every time I'm here in Sydney, I have to go eat pho and because it's so good. The meat is just melt in your mouth kind of type. So I couldn't say no, and the promoter was super nice. So I just want to say hello before I um, see her tonight. Just check in and, and um, see each other before anything because it's been a while. But anyway, um, I'll just get some sleep and then wake up and then do my makeup and and then showtime, basically rock the stage. This is what I do before I go to sleep. I like to prep my stuff. By the time I wake up, I'll be good to go. It's kind of like cooking and you prep your ingredients. There's my bag and all my CDs. Which bed should I sleep on, this one or this one? Do you want to feel like a queen or a princess? <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll be a princess for, for now and then a queen for later after my show when I'm completely exhausted. It's been a few hours and I'm still not sleeping. Just laying here and staring at the wall and counting sheep and, and clouds. No sleep. That was a complete fail. I didn't get any sleep at all. And now I have to get up and do my makeup. Let's hope I don't crash on stage. <laughs> okay, I'm done with my makeup. 
I think I'm early. <sighs> Let's hope I do well today. <laughs> no crashing on stage. <laughs> right now it should be my bedtime in the States. <sighs> Fighting. There I go. Here's a flight of stairs I have to climb. This is the life. Nobody's gonna do it for you. you. Gotta do everything all by yourself. This is my dressing room. There's nowhere to sit really, but I'll find a place. Maybe, oh, right here. Yay! Testing, one, two. Phoenix band. Back in my hotel room now. Show was 50 50. The first set, I completely lost my voice and then I recovered a bit, rest, and then had a lot of water. And then, second set, I did better. I redeemed myself. Um, hopefully, tomorrow won't be as bad. I haven't slept for over 12 hours, so let's pray tomorrow will be good. Anyway, thanks. Sydney for coming out and uh, thanks to you guys for watching like and subscribe if you haven't